is a type of spider crab. Wow. Uh, a deep water spider crab. Uh, that would be a, shal a shallow water spider crab. Wow. A heap of the deep water kind of hold on The guys have been have natural flowers. Oh yeah. And these lads would be I don't know if I would have said what I'm done. <laughs> they're not the real thing anyhow. Oh, they're, they're plastic, are they? No, then? No, so, no, 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 they're the real thing. They're the real oh, thing, they're the yeah. Real thing. They're natural, but they're, they're grown in different... Oh, I see, yeah. Uh, you know? Yeah. Of, the, of, a, vet, of a vertebrae. Of a whale. I think probably a whale. Yeah. Wow. So they're born. Oh, yeah. <laughs> if you catch the light, I've caught the light of, of the window coming in. Yeah, that's perfect, yeah. Wow. And they, 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 they're whale bones there. And whale vertebrae. Wow, yeah. Like with that there, yeah. What is that now? A part of the transatlantic cable. Seriously, yeah. Between Valencia and Hats Content in Newfoundland. That is probably um, a live round from the German, Ma the German Mauser rifle. That would have been that would have been a round that was that was used that was fired. Yeah. And how did you collect these? How did you My uncle my uncle was in the volunteers. Oh was he, yeah? Wow. They were the IRA. The German Mauser. Oh yeah. You know, that was used by by the, the volunteers and the That's a gun, isn't it? And the uh, what do you call it? There were 1100 of them imported in that 1900 and something by, by the Asgard. Uh, 1100 of German Mauser rifles. So this was that's this that's was to f for fight in Ireland, fight wasn't in it? The, yeah, for the, for the uh, British. Rising, so wow. that's one of them. Is it? A German Mauser, yeah. Wow. That would be a flash cam. You, you've probably seen them. They were being used during the, we call it the emergency 1940s. Do you know? Oh, yeah. And the, when the Germans were bombing the country, the flash camp, so you would, you would cut, you know, you would cut the light down. Was that used here, was it, yeah? Yeah, it was, yeah. But the Germans, did they come I here? I don't know, but the, the, just, yeah. used here during the time when the, when the Germans were bombing, but yeah. they were used by the locals. They were, they were British made, I suppose, yeah? Yeah. You know, you would keep, you know. You, you could turn it off very quick, you mean? Yeah, yeah, case, yeah. Any noise overhead, so that's from the early 40s. You had activity. You had um, you had plane. You had planes moving along, you know, yeah. up and down the west, uh, the west coast of Ireland. There, yeah. Well, it says in a, an enclosed unit of aluminium, probably off one of the planes. Can we still can't figure out what it is? You know, it is and this it, came from the sea, yeah. then, was it? Yeah, right up in the nets as well. It is something you would have plane, I think, and you know. Yeah. Aluminium. Yeah. Basically, a fishing village, and of course, it was um, so the main point of the building of the lighthouses on the skerries way back in the 18, 1820s. Of course, lighthouses were it would have been the, the departure point for the, the um, transportation of the, the materials that were used in the building of the. Of the yeah. And who else was in the family with you then? Um, I have a brother, my brother and my sister, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. But my, my dad was born on the other side of the mountain, uh, in St. Finan's Bay, St. Finan. Yeah. So he came down here in 1946 and um, he, he bought his place and he ran a, a, grocery, a, a grocery store and um, yeah. I was born here in the New Yeah. yeah. Uh, 1963 with a bass, a 13 pound bass. Thomas, Thomas, my great grandfather, Thomas Golden, and his wife Ellen, and uh, four of their children, Nelly, Johanna, and twins, Julia and Katie. And are they still alive? Are no, they? no, they're gone. They're gone. Yeah, they were taken around 1900. Wow. The four girls went to. To New Haven, mm. Connecticut. So they're all the. They're all. They're gone. They're, they're all gone. They're all gone. I remember Johanna. She was home. 
She returned home and visited here in 1960. She's the only one of my, I remember. Yeah. Yeah, that's my dad, Matt. Yeah. His brother, Michael. Yeah. Brother John. Sister Eileen. Yeah. School photograph, 1924. Wow. That's my great granddad again, uh, Thomas. On the left. On the left. And uh, my other great granddad, John Keating, on the right. That was from 1922. Who's that now? Timothy Keating. My yeah. granduncle, Timothy Keating. Mm -hmm. And his niece, my aunt, Eileen Gordon. Standing outside his shop. Is that a greyhound? A greyhound. Out in the Glen. St. Mm -hmm. Finan's Way. Yeah. St. Bruno Flake. There were the cigarettes that were there, they had the tobacco that were there. Mm -hmm. Sometimes the mid, the mid 1930s. Oh, look at this. Oh. And Royal must have filled the years. We died at age 28, 28 of June 1915. Son of Mr. and Mrs. Shannon of Port McGee, County Kerry. Remembered with honour. Hell's Memorial. Commemorated in perpetuity. Chewity by the Commonwealth War Graves. Where, where is, is that in That's in Turkey, or Greece, Turkey. Oh, is it? Yeah. No. That's a part of the hanker. And this is the one that was shot down, a German yeah. plane. Yeah, that's a German hanker, part of the German hanker that was shot down near the Skelly Rock. Wow. It came up and down. That was taken from the sea then, yeah. was it? Yeah. Came up and down. And we don't know what part of that no, plane no, is. No, it's a part of the wing it, sir. Yeah. There's a propeller inside in the scary centre inside there. Is there? From it. Oh, yeah. Make as far as I'm... Would have been you at the time of the, trou the, the Troubles, what we call the Troubles, 1960 and 1921. And do you know who used that? Or it was in with my uncle's company, the local, local brigade. Yeah. Two years in 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 seventeen nine you had the, the rising of seventeen ninety eight. Yeah. The only works for the things. Do you wanna just say that from the beginning what this is exactly? Oh yeah. That's it there. You know the best one of it. What is that now? That's a pike. Pike. Yeah. That's the the history of the island and that that's a pike, which doesn't a little bit you know, a little bit of a hatchet onto that side with a... Mm. But, um, there were years against the British and down in Wexford especially. So during the 1960s, the, the local, the local blacksmiths would, would have produced them locally as well. Then he yeah. was telling me there before. That's what it, that's what it yeah, the, the, the farm. Yeah. They were never harvested around here. Weren't they? No. no? Oh. But his farm, when I was young, in the early 60s, I remember two Norwegians both tied up down there. Yeah. And uh, they just ha they harpooned them there off the coast and uh, they cut the liver out of them and just dumped them out, thrown out again alive. And they didn't die for a while after that, no? No. He's in Minister of uh, Fisheries in 1972 or 74. He bought in the law banning it, so. Yeah. They were saved from extinction yeah. know, at the last minute. So this year now I had to buy a send over Tinum swimming yeah. there around the skerries. So slowly they're coming back. But um, when they were being harvested up along the west coast, the skinum was used as, was used for uh, sandpaper. You mm -hmm. know, I remember when he was over, you know, you could rub your hand along, you know, so like the, you know, emery paper along. Yeah. yeah. So they were, that was used as well. But for the liver, was mainly used for the oil lamps, I suppose, up around um, Acolyte and the there. Yeah, Castle Bar and around, around there, there, yeah. Oh, he it's said that. Cosmetics, I suppose. And, yeah. Maybe cod liver oil, you know. And they got paid very little for that, didn't they? Yeah. 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 I mean, we call it. This is the switch. Uh, that's the switch. That's the switch that would have triggered 500 yeah. pounds of TNT. Wow. You know, you can imagine the spikes. Yeah. You know, oh, the yeah. spike. The spikes, all these. Uh, it's across the road by me now, which is kind of got, uh, got rusted out when it was a day. But that's the guy that triggered yeah. 500 pounds of TNT if it did go off. Wow. So that's British made because the, the army, I told the army the time, so they came down, they identified it as a, as a British made Mark yeah. 14. Wow. 
And there was no risk in that, was there? Well, there could have been risk. It could have been, yeah. It yeah. could have been, it just uh, it fell apart when they came in and <laughs> they just chucked out. Just, I don't know what TNT looks like that, but it, they, they tell me it's just white and it looks like cement. Yeah. And they just chucked it out. And just they, to be and safe, yeah. So the yeah. boys came into me and they said to me, John, we have a, a mind for <laughs> So Gee. I know about it by mine. So. Wow. So that, that's really the hat of it. Yeah. You know, that's where all the those wires are, are connected to the spikes and anything hit the spike, off it went. Yeah. That's wow. A, that's our switch. Yeah. Amazing there. Yeah. They're known as a mer mermaid's purse. What? Mermaid. Oh, mermaid's purse. Go on, yeah. That's the. That's from a skate. Yeah. And that's my dogfish. Expl that's for the, um, the skate and the dogfish. They have pups for the kind of uh, young ones. The young ones pups. Yeah. So the the young are the, the young are formed inside in this case, and then the, the they give birth to the case and the the case they break case. Just they break out of the case after a while then again. And then they, they go around, yeah. yeah. so they're known as... And a, what's the official name of it? The ju that's the name, is it? The Yeah, that's, the, that's what they're known as. That's what they call yeah. And how did you get that? Was that in the net? Or? Yeah, the, the fishermen, yeah, the fishermen get all them things from it. She had a smaller version. Yeah. Wow. Just have some of the sides in there, and they would have been put into the old battles. Yeah. And, um... Ships would come from Liverpool, I think. Yeah. And um, right. yeah, I saw that. In Liverpool, I think they would be put on a bigger ships in and trans and um, so exported to North and South America. Yeah. So that's around 1895. Yeah. Fascinating that, isn't it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's what? Palm oil. Go on. Palm oil. Yeah. That's big. That's that's very big now in the world here. That they're cutting down plantations in in in. Yes, I have it. Um, they're cutting down plantations there in South America and Asia. You hear of the planting palm, palm oil trees, palm oh. oil. Yeah. So. And how did you get that? I got that. Uh, came up in the, in, the, in the nets again there about ten years ago. And the fishing boats right up. Um, what do we call it? Um, to the to the block. A yeah. block of palm palm oil. Smelling it off. That beautiful smell, right? But um, it is a big, it is a big, you know, if you look up, the, the smell is going to go off, you know, but they're a beautiful smell. Yeah. But uh, it is used in cosmetics and, and other things nowadays. Yeah. But um, for, for I make out, it came from India, yeah, um, a ship by the name of the Commerce, C O W M E R C. It sank near the Blaskets in 1850. Yeah. And it had a cargo of 15,000 pounds worth of palm oil. Gee. So. I think that's that is a, a, a part of it. Yeah, and, and that sank, did it? It sank, yeah. So oh, yeah. the lads brought it up and it came up in the nets. Yeah. So it was known as Olabui. Yeah, because the it, the Blasket Islanders got a lot of it at the time. That's the Gaelic version of it. Oh yeah, Olabui Yellow Isle. Yeah. So the revenue lads, people used to be asked to the boys in the Blaskets because you know anything that came ashore. It was considered, you know, government property, but um, that's what I think it came. Out, I think it came. Out, it came off that ship, the Commerce, from 1850. Yeah. For the cargo of that from West Africa at the time. Gee, it weird. Came, yeah, yeah. Do you want to tell me the story about Seven, that? Yeah, I haven't. Did, did you know in 17? Yeah, it was. In 23 or something. Like that? It was something like that. Yeah, yeah. we have an account of of a of a, of a ship from the port of Nantes in, yeah. in, in France, coming ashore and staying here over the, over the Christmas. And um, on New Year's Eve, um, the, main, the crew came up to the pier with, uh, with the torches. Yeah. And one man dressed up as an old, an old man, and the, he went through the village. And um, on the stroke of midnight, a shot, a shot went out, and he fell dead, and a new man came up in his place. Yeah. And he done the, the he went through the, the village as well, you know, representing the new. Yeah. So it just goes a shotgun and bang, and he falls down and he's taken away, and the new man comes out and. Yeah. But, um, that's kind of we've continued that custom all through the years. Oh,